Hi, my name is Ken Walther, I'm from Valley Aquatic Solutions and today we're going to talk about changing the feed tube on the new style Stenner fixed speed 45 speed pump. This is the Stenner 45 speed fixed head pump with the new roller assembly. He's been about been out for a couple years. The newer roller assembly is collapsible which makes changing the feed tubes very, very easy. To take this head apart all we do is simply open up the hinges on the top and bottom. The cover comes right out and then there you can see the roller assembly. Right now it's locked open, which is the position we want because it will squeeze the feed tube properly and allow the pump to pump. To take the feed tube out, I want to collapse it. To collapse it, it's very, very easy. This cover I just took off is actually my tool. I invert it, and you'll notice there's three holes here that grab the three studs coming out of the roller assembly. So I just line those up and just turn it towards me. And hear that click? I just collapse the roller assembly. Take the feed tube out and then install a new feed tube. And be aware please that Stenner feed tubes come in five different sizes, one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm taking a number, say two or three out of the pump. I want to replace it with the exact same size. Because if I just randomly grab a different size feed tube, I'm changing the characteristics of the pump and how much volume it pumps, more or less, and that may mess up your pool chemistry. So I'm just going to grab a number four here, just a random size. If you notice the Stenner pump's ends are plastic fittings with little recessed notches in it that line up on the housing very nicely and I just sort of push the feed tube in and pull it down here a little bit to slide it into place. But I'm not completely done now because I have to lock the roller assembly open. To do that I use this hinge as a key because what happens in the back here there's a slot to take the hinge which I will put in and I have to put this in because when I turn the head now clockwise if I don't the motor is going to spin and I won't be able to get a good lock. I have big hands, so I put my thumb on the housing here because I found that housing may want to turn. Again, this is my tool. I engage it on the lid, or on the roller assembly, and I'm going to turn it until I hear, hear or feel a click. That means the roller assembly is locked and open in place. The pump is ready to go now. The new feed tube is installed. The roller assembly is locked. I put the cover up back on, give it a little simple tap, reinstall my top hinge, and the pump is ready to go. Change the feed tube, you will have to take your tubing off, and I just want to show what you need to do to install tubing. You can install quarter inch or three eighths tubing on the pump. If I'm going to put quarter inch tubing, which I prefer, because I need no special adapters, all I have to do is put a connecting nut on the tubing. And you always want to use a fresh ferrule. The ferrules are almost shaped like an arrowhead. That head part, I want to go upward on the tubing. And that head actually slides into the bottom of the feed tube to seal. Hand tighten that nut. And please remember, there's no need to ever install Teflon thread tape on these threads. They should seal on their own. And if they do drip, that means the nuts are not on right. I, I think I've cross-threaded it in the past myself. Let's talk about 3 8 tubing. Some people use that. 3 8 tubing is just a little different, not much. Of course, it's a little bigger in size, but I'm going to have to use this adapter that's available from Stenner. You do put a ferrule inside this adapter. Again, that arrowhead faces out. And install that new ferrule always put a new one in and gently set it in there and gently push it in. Don't force it in at all because if you get that ferrule out around it will not go in. Might as well just start with a fresh one. So I can take this connecting nut off. I'm going to screw it into the bottom of the feed tube. Hand tighten only please. No Teflon tape required. Connecting nut can slide onto the feed tube, on uh, the tubing. 3 8 tubing. Slide it into the connector and again hand tighten and we're ready to go. Now if you're thinking, hey, I have an old style pump with the old head, but I like this new collapsible style, it's easy to purchase a new head. Now I just want to show you what the old style roller assemblies look like. Again, not, not collapsible. And to put the feed tube in, we have to utilize these half circles here. Simply order a new head. Not just the roller assembly, but the new head assembly you'll have to purchase also. And your old pump would not have necessarily have this key way back in there. So what you do is purchase this adapter, 
which slides in the back of the pump. Now that keeps the whole fan motor from moving when you tighten the pump. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more additional instructional videos from Valley Aquatic Solutions.